hello again and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a pretty simple project that you should be able to follow along with if you would like to make your own. We're going to be making some like chemise peasant style dresses. Uh, I have wanted a few of these for a really long time and with fall coming up and wanting to do a bunch of layered outfits I thought now is the perfect time. These are pretty good for renaissance fair outfits where you're layering over a, under a corset and some skirts or just casual things. Um, I'm playing away these with a belt or a, sing a bodice corsety thing or a skirt. We will see. Tons of options. So what we're going to do is I have already patterned it out, which I will show you in a bit. And I have washed and pressed my linen. Oh my god, this is heavy. Here are my two colors of linen. I have this, oops, can't see both of them. Here are my two colors of linen. I have this off-white. Um, it's really close to white, but it's called like an antique white, as well as this gray. Um, the gray kind of reads a little blue, so I'm not sure how it will show up on camera. But I wanted a really basic color, which could be paired with nearly everything, and also something a little more interesting, but I figured that gray is still very versatile, so that's why I wanted to go with these two. It's a really simple project, should only take a few hours. There's not very many scenes, and even fewer that we have to finish if you're gonna follow along how I'm doing it. And yeah, very excited to get some wear out of these. If you like this video, you can give it a like and comment down below how you would style these dresses once you see them all finished. And subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. I'm planning on doing some more fall fashion videos coming up, as well as some more costumey things. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I have all my pieces of both my dresses cut out. Hi Kitty. And the shoulder seams are all pinned up. They're just these short triangles and then attached to them are the bodies and the sleeves. So that'll make it so that the sleeves are able to be both over the shoulder and off of the shoulder. So these need to be sewn up. Um, I'll show you in a second how I ended up cutting these, which actually made my life a lot easier because both of the side seams are going to be this finished selvage edge. So I won't have to do anything, I'll just have to finish these. The hems, 
of the sleeves, the sides of the sleeves, as well as the hem of the whole skirt. So our next step is to get these sewn and then we can sew up the bodies and start inserting some elastic. Here's how I cut out my fabric. My initial plan was to have, focus please. My initial plan was to have the skirt length be the width of the fabric and the width of the dress that was gonna go around my body be cut from how you would traditionally do it. Instead, I have my two selvages and I cut my skirt length down the selvage and the width of the fabric is also going to be the width of the dress. The reason I did it this way is because I'm actually getting a fuller dress like this. The fabric that I ordered ended up being 56 inches wide and I was originally going to do three yards, so one and a half yards for each, which would end up being um, 45 inches wide This for this diagram. But now each of these pieces gets to be 56 inches wide and the skirt is however long I need it. And then the two sleeves got cut out like that, one, two. So that's how I cut my fabric. And then after I got all those rectangles cut out, the pieces are just cut, some corners get cut off of them. And that's how everything is going to get attached together. The sleeves also would have corners cut off of them like this. Yeah, into that and that attach. And that's how we make the dress.
from me. Thank you so much for watching. I really love how these turned out. I cannot wait to start making some fall outfits with them once the weather stops being 80 degrees every day. But I like how they layer. I like how the top looks. They're really comfy. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below if you'd like to see more from me. And then check out this video next. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye.